We never celebrate the birthday. I never celebrated for, I celebrated only one. Like my 18th birthday, I celebrated last year, but I never celebrated. We don't, we don't uh, like, we don't uh, interest much about the day. So it's like when some people, when they come, just they ask them, how old are you? Okay. They, they know the, uh, the age, but the day. Some people, they don't know it. Like, it's like, I don't know. Or I, you can, they can say, whoa, well, like in January, maybe. Because it's the simple one. That's why, I, and you know. Because if you don't know, maybe you don't have any contact with your family. You have to say one day because I think that in Europe here is very important to know your day for the you guys, but for us. In Bangladesh, we use uh, three types of calendars. We can use the Gregorian calendar because it's international and we are connected with the world. We have our own calendar and uh, Bongabdo calendar, its name. And uh, we, ha we use also the Islamic calendar, the Hijri calendar, because it's related by our religion, as we are Muslim. According uh, one calendar or another, my birthday changed. <laughs> For example, in Bengali calendar, I was born on the 12th uh, Posh of 13, uh, 99. But according the Gregorian calendar, I was born on 26th December of 1992. <laughs> so they are completely different. And uh, in uh, Arabian calendar, my birthday changed again. <laughs> Some people, the fathers or the mother, they can remember the period of the, uh, the year. They can know that maybe you born it in Ramadan time or in summer or in winter time. They can remember that, okay, in this year. But they cannot actually, they, some people, they don't remember about it. Yeah, because we don't consider the day much. It's better when you say which, according which calendar you are saying your birthday. And generally, in Bangladesh, uh, parents, as uh, the majority of Bangladeshi, at least in my time, uh, used to do agriculture uh, and uh, they use the Bengali calendar because it's better to know where I have to cultivate rice and uh, where when uh, is the season to uh, how do you say to to, to 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 achieve your cultivations so uh, they are uh, more used more uh, near with the Bengali calendar. Converting the calendars, it's not easy. A, a, a person who work in agriculture fields uh, doesn't know how to convert from one calendar to another. So it's difficult to say uh, for the parents how exactly we were born according to the Gregorian calendar at least. For me, the time I came, actually, they don't ask me which day you born, but they ask me, how old are you? I say, they did. And uh, the day they didn't ask me, but they write there January or the first, they write there. But after that, when I arrived at home, they asked me if it is correct or no. I say, I don't know, because I, I cannot say it's correct or not. It's like, I don't know. But the time I get contact with my family, I try to communicate with them to ask them about this date. And, uh, they told me that the January is not, and they told me the correct one. Yes, I, I told them, we changed it. Yeah. The newcomers who came now, and usually they are minors, and uh, they need time to know exactly where they were born. And uh, at first time when the policeman asked them, uh, well, well, tell me your birthday, they used to say one, one, uh, 1993, 1995, 1997, according their birthday, their, their uh, year of birthday. But uh, the the date, if they know, as they know exactly, they say one one, the first of January, <laughs> and uh, it's very uh, complicated for the officer for who work in that field, for the policeman maybe, to understand how, how is it possible that you, all of you were born on 1st of January. 
and uh, they should take uh, uh, sh they should give them uh, time to know the exact birthday when a newcomer come here he saw uh, he, he see sees everything different from their own society the language and when you are you are, when you don't understand something or someone you are confused itself because uh, how i have to move i have I, how i have to ask some someone uh, to someone something if i am not understanding with him so it's complicated and the professional should know everything of uh, related to the newcomers our culture is like when you are speaking with somebody that is uh, older than you, you don't have to look at uh, his eyes or see, you don't have to look his eyes like this, no. You have to be like this. For us, it's normal for us. It's respect, maximum respect for us. But for you guys, it's like a disrespect, you know. If I make like this, it, it means like we are not contact. So I'm not respecting you. But for that kind of thing, when you see somebody that do that kind of thing, you have to try and ask the person. Don't think that maybe he's, he's doing this kind of thing because he don't have respect or he, he don't care what I'm saying. It's not like that. I think that you have to, you have to ask the people, try and ask why you're doing this. <laughs>